Welcome to the South Central Region semifinal postgame press conference. Uh, joining us now, members of Angelo State Volleyball team, head coach Chuck Waddington. Also joining us tonight are players Callie Enax and Laney Dale. Coach, we'll start with you. Um, I, I said the same thing to MSU Denver to, to Coach Glenn, a grueling match. 3-1 victory uh, for MSU Denver. You came out of the gates hot. You had a great start in set number one. Uh, you go to uh, this third set, it was anyone's. These final numbers, uh, there were a lot of ties, a lot of lead changes. What were your thoughts tonight from your team's performance? <clears throat> I thought we played some really good volleyball for a lot, a lot of stretches. Um, but we didn't finish. You know, when you, when you have a team that's, that's that good on the ropes, you have to finish. And we just we couldn't find a way to get that done. You know, we may, you know, set three especially, you know, set two, they, they kind of handled us in set two, you know, but set three, I felt like we were, we were in the driver's seat late in that set. And then, uh, you know, three, three really tough mental errors back to back to back. And all of a sudden we're, we're, we're right out of it, you know? And so when you have a team on the ropes, man, you gotta, you gotta step on them. You got, you can't give them that opportunity because they have finishers on their team. You know, they, they're, they're a really offensively minded team, you know, and, and they go up with intent and uh, they did a nice job, you know, and, and uh, so I, I think we missed out on some opportunities, unfortunately, but it, it was, it's a lot of lead changes is back and forth. I think we gave them all they could handle, but I think we had a little more in the tank, unfortunately. Uh, Laney, first question to you. Uh, 23 assists tonight. Um, kind of talk about how the game went for you and um, kind of what you were seeing from MSU Denver. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we gave it our all and we just made too many tough mental errors that um, we really couldn't recover from. And we gave them too much, too much space for them to thrive and um, take advantage of us at our weakest moments. Um, so that was um, hard for us. We couldn't get out of, but we fought and um, they're a good team. So we got to hand it to them. Coach, I want to ask about the, um, just this team in general. Last year, um, not a great year by any standards, and um, a lot of the same core from last year's team. Um, kind of talk about the work that you all put into um, kind of with the same core, essentially, uh, turn it around and make it this far um, in the, in the uh, tournament. Well, I think it started with me. I, I needed to be better for these guys, you know, and I – I really refocused what I was doing to make sure I, I channeled that into developing them and getting them better. But I think most of the credit goes to these two right here as leaders uh, on this team. And we, we have other leaders on our team that, that are part of that, that group as well. But like, they weren't, they weren't okay with it, you know? Um, they didn't want their legacy to be the team that, the first team that didn't make a regional ever, you know? So I think, it started in December, right when it went, right when it ended. You know, just a, a conscious decision to not let that happen again. I know I said it out loud. I said I refuse to have another season like that. That's the only season of my career at any level that I've ever had a losing season, and so uh, I wasn't going to let it happen again. You know, and I pushed these guys and I challenged them, and they responded really well. We had a great spring season. We carried it into the fall. You know, and um, man, <laughs> you know when. When three kids you expect to start for you and in, in when the season starts are out before you even take your first serve of, of the season, how, how do they respond? You know, and they responded unbelievably. You know, I moved people around to play kids playing positions they never played before, you know, from, from the get go. And um, I, I don't, all the credit goes to them for handling that. You know, I use, I, with you, I use the word resilience. And, and I think this is the most resilient group I've ever had because there's no way with all the stuff that we had to overcome, injuries, like we had three scholarships of the eight that we get, three of them on the sideline. Didn't play a point for us this year. And we're still beating top 10 teams at the end of the year, you know? So, I mean, I, I can't think about what was. I'm excited about what's to be, you know? These guys did a great job. I just, I'm, I'm not a fan of losing by any stretch of the imagination, but you can't understand how special this group is and how proud I am of them for just overcoming all of that stuff and deciding amongst themselves that they weren't going to settle, you know, they weren't going to be okay with, oh, poor us. And they didn't do that. And that's, that's probably what I'm most proud of. Callie, question for you. What's the 
I guess the biggest thing that you've learned from this year that you're that you and your teammates are going to take um, applying towards next season. Um, I think just like the confidence in ourselves, like you said, like from last year, like we didn't play like how we wanted to play and we came back and like there was multiple games like at the beginning of the year, like we showed ourselves like even if we're down, like we can come back, like we can fight through whatever we have to. We have to just come together as a team. And I think we that's something like big that we learned. We have to like lean on each other. We can't play individually like we have to lean on each other, push each other through like the hard moments when we're struggling. And so I think that's something that we like thrive on is like helping each other, encouraging each other. And so I think that's something that we can take into next year. Lainey, final question for you. Um, transferred into this program last year. Kind of um, speak about how the past couple of years um, at Angel Estate have been for you. <laughs> um, let's just say I'm glad I ended my uh, career here. Uh, you know, I at my last school, I lost the love of volleyball. Like, I was ready to be done. And coming here and having the coaching staff, having the girls that I had, um, it really made me love volleyball again and realize why I played in the first place. <laughs> um, so I'm just so incredibly blessed and thankful that um, I got to end my career around people I love and people that I know gave it their all for me. And we play for each other. And that's just something in the community of Angelo State, you know, having a packed stadium and little girls coming up to it, like that's a feeling I will never forget and these are some of the best years of my life and so I'm just so incredibly thankful. You guys out Doug MSU Denver just to touch on that and your defense was outstanding um, not letting balls drop with it. Coach go ahead and talk a little bit about how your defense kept up with their offense and MSU Denver said you guys were hard to score on. Yeah you know that was one of the pieces that we needed you know we talked about it you know we, we wanted we wanted a uh, to have a high quality first contact. We wanted to dig a ton of balls in transition to give ourselves good looks. And we wanted to stay in the point, you know, like stay, like make them have to earn points. And I think that's the area that, that hurt us a little bit. We, we just didn't do a great job of staying in the point. We were a little high error in some, some out of system, some scramble situations where we're normally a little bit better, you know, and they don't need any help to be good. They're a really good team. And uh, I think that was, if we, if we had a redo, that would be the one area that I wish we could have done a little bit better. Just stay in the point a little bit longer, you know. But, I mean, we got to, you know, we're not the biggest team. We're, we're never. I've been here 16 years, and we have never been the biggest team, the most physical team. But we're always going to be the team that plays the hardest, you know. And we want to scrap it out and, you know, just uh, muck it up, you know. Make it ugly. Make it hard to score and make you frustrated. And I think we did that in, in – big pieces of the match but not being able to stay in some of those points in critical situations I think is really what one of the biggest differences was in this match. Laney, Coach and Callie congratulations on an awesome season that was a lot of fun to watch you guys compete here at the tournament 24 wins eight losses and another appearance here in the NCAA regional semifinals great job. Thank, Thank you. you.